So this will be a hard video for me to explain actually in my poor English to you the difference between polyrhythms and polymeters, but I try my best. So inside of the grid, we have triggers, which is basically a polyrhythm device. If we take an oscilloscope and face module here, um, I can explain to you what happens. So the face of the grid at the moment here is exactly one bar long. You can see this on the left side here with the device face. So this ramp represents basically exactly one bar. Uh, and we can now use the triggers module to subdivide this one bar into equally spaced steps. So maybe let's use here a second one. So with four here, with the number four, we subdivided this one bar into four equally spaced steps. If we go down to three here, we subdivide this one bar into three equally sized steps, okay? If we use multiple of these, let's say here five and here three, and then combine them, we have basically a polyrhythm. So the, the length of the system is always the same, stays always the same, it's exactly one bar, but the subdivisions change, okay? If we want to look at this here inside of the node clip, we can say um, we have one bar. So this node is exactly one bar long, right? And then we use the re repeater on the, on the left side and say we subdivide this one bar into three equally spaced steps. It's exactly what we did here with this number three, right? It's the same thing. One bar long, three subdivisions equally spaced. And then we take another node here and say this one is subdivided into five equally uh, spaced steps, right? So you can see it triggers at different points than here. Um, and if you play this back and repeat this, you basically have some kind of polyrhythm or it's called polyrhythm. So the system length stays always the same. It's exactly one bar, but the subdivisions change. So this is how it looks like here inside of a node clip. So back to the polygrid here because someone asked me this on uh, Instagram, how you actually do polymeters inside of the grid. So what are now polymeters? Polymeters are uh, when the subdivisions stay the same. So let's say you have here uh, 16 nodes, right? You subdivide your one bar into 16 equally spaced steps, so it's 16 nodes, uh, but the length changes so the the length of this bar changes from one clip to the other um, so to make sense of this uh, we duplicate this here and we want to change actually here the length so your first initial idea would be ah let's use an attenuate right and say i want to um, make this only a third note or a third of the initial length right so now you can see here um, the height is different than this one. It only goes to a third of the height of this one. So it's uh, 0 0.33 and this is one, right? Uh, but you also can see that the steepness changes, changes, right? And when the steepness or the slope changes of this ramp, you also change the playback speed. So let's say you have here a gates module or oh, let's actually use two, um, this one here and this one. So now we drive this here with these uh, phase signals. You can see here we have the initial playback speed, the real playback speed. And here you can see we only playback until this, until the third note here, right? Which is completely nice, but also the playback speed changes. It's not an, eight node anymore. Let's go up to 16 nodes here, 16 subdivisions. So the playback speed is different. Um, it's not a 16 node anymore. So how can we change this? How can we change basically the playback length, but don't change the playback speed? So attenuate is a is an interesting thought. So this is, was also my first initial idea, but it's not working that way. So what we need to do actually here is to duplicate this and we need to use a phase reset. So we need to reset the phase at a certain point in the, in the system. 
So what I do usually for that is, let's go in here. Let's use a trigger thing. Let's use the second one. And we need to go into here. Then we need a long delay because it's a feedback actually. Cut this short and then go back into the reset here, right? We want to reset the face and we want to reset the face at this point. So now you can see it loops basically between the beginning and this point in time or here. You can see also here the height changes, but also the steepness um, is the same. So it's still a 60 node in here, right? So we can now paint in a pattern, but this pattern loops at a different position or it's cut at a different position within the bar. I hope this makes sense. Actually, I, I, I have the feeling like I explain this completely complicated, overcomplicated, but this is how it works. So what we do with this kind of setup here with the reset uh, thing is that we um, subdivide actually the length of the bar at a certain point in time. If you don't like to use here the um, gates for that, right? You can also uh, exchange this and say, um, we take here the math or logic, is it logic? Yeah, this one. So we compare this here to a value, let's say this one here. Now you can see you want to stop at 33% the length of this pattern. And then you, you take this value basically, loop it back, and then reset here the face with this. So with this now, with this face output here, you can then loop um, at a different point in time. I hope this makes sense. So this is basically how you implement uh, pulley meters inside of the grid by uh, just comparing here the phase signal to a value and then use that to reset actually the initial phase at a certain point in time. Um, again, this triggers module is a pulley rhythm device. It subdivides the same length, the same phase into equally spaced steps. So it's basically a pulley rhythm device. And to do pulley meters, you need to use the reset uh, module here. I think this is the best way. There are probably other ways to do this, but I use usually just the reset module here. And um, yeah, it's not that hard to set up actually. So this is my explanation for pulley rhythms and pulley meters inside of the grid. I hope you learned something. Leave me a like if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to ask questions, of course, in the comments down below. See you. Bye.